So as you see on the, the Moodle, our last big, 20% um, of the grade actually relates to the class project. Now I've made this pretty uh, open so you all are able to tailor it to the company you want, you'd like. But the gist of it is, on Thursday, you're going to be required to be here in order to receive full credit because the presentation will need to be done on Thursday in person. So anybody who doesn't show up on Thursday but they submit it, the maximum they're going to be able to receive is 75% of those 200 points. Does that make sense, what I'm telling you? So the, the key here with this project is you... Pick a public company. And let's just say, for example, I would pick Target. I want to go and locate the annual report and the 10K. So how do I go about doing that? I'm going to get online and I'm going to Google Target's Target Annual Report. Now you can see here, I can see a 2012. Let me see if I can find a 2013. I'd like you to locate the most recent. It might not always be the 2013 annual report. 2012 um, annual reports. I think 2012 is the latest one that is available. So you're going to locate the 2012 annual report and from here is where you're going to get a lot of information. But locate this annual report. Let me just back up and then say there's another report that will help you get the information you would like. It's also called a 10K, Target Corporation 10K. 10K, again, since I picked 2012 for the annual report, I'm going to want to choose 2012 for the 10K report. And so I would look for um, the 2012 report. And this, you see it says 10K. This is what's submitted to the Securities and Exchange Commission, okay? So let me go back here. I'm just letting you know the two items that are really helpful to have right away. And then when we go back here, um, you're going to pick a co public company. Locate the annual report al along with a copy of the latest 10K or the one that you have access to. But whatever you do, if your annual report is a 2011, your 10K report is going to be a 2011 also. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you're going to want the same type of information. Write three paragraphs regarding the history of the company and important information. What kind of information may I possibly write? I'm probably going to look into um, information regarding the company. One thing I'll probably do is say Target Corporation um, is, was founded in Minnesota or headquarters are in Minnesota and is located on blah, 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 Nicollet Mall. Um, and then I would utilize this annual report to really give me a lot of information of what particular, um, where, where all they are located, how many stores they have, what types of um, product they are um, selling. Find things that are specific to Target and come up with mainly through this annual report in the 10K, you're going to get some great information to come up with your three paragraphs on your report about Target. So you've got to write three paragraphs. Then I want you to present information related to assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. From here, you're going to go and you're going to locate the, their information, and the 10K will show you where the, excuse me, let me back up and say, a, another thing that might be really interesting is what currently is Target facing in risk? You know, 
I would probably share something to do with, well, this is the 2012 report, so it's not going to have anything about the latest credit card scandal. But if you can, if, if all you can do is locate this report, but you know something new about the company, that would be just wonderful to, to pipe in. I know as of currently, they are really dealing with issues as it relates to the credit card scandal, and you can share about that. But you, can, you could talk about in your um, paragraphs about who runs the company, the board of directors, whatever you feel comfortable doing. There, this will provide you with all kinds of information, seasonability, whatever their brands are. You get creative. I'm purposely not giving you real specifics so you can um, provide interest to the, the classroom. Then you're going to locate the financial statements. And in the financial statements, I'm going to want to see their revenues, their earnings, their per share. Um, as you can see here in my present information related to assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. I don't know what you'll do. You might um, share their total assets or 48 mil billion or 48 billion here. However you want to do it, it it probably even be better to to show here's a, a better scenario of the um, let, let's find the asset sheet here. Um, Well, let me go over to the 10K report where I know that's going to be. Um, financials. So you may, however you want to share, I'd like something more specific than they're showing us growth, but I'd like you to find the financial statements. They're in these I reports. And if, share their total assets. Um, share their... Um, liabilities and stockholders equity. Now, it may be helpful for you to take Walmart and, com excuse me, Target and compare it to a Walmart or a Kmart or a Lowe's or, although that a Lowe's is going to be different, but maybe even do a comparison. That would help maybe understand the total assets per se. So again, three paragraphs explaining the company, then you're going to show a, par um, a paragraph as it relates to, or a chart as it relates to their assets. Then you are going to choose four ratios and explain the purpose of the ratio and compare them to the company you chose. So I might say I'm um, four ratios I need to pick. One is going to be a current ratio. I explain what a current ratio is and what the importance of the current ratio is, and what is Target's current ratio right now, okay? Again, um, I'd like it in a paragraph form, but you don't have to get too ex extensive about it. Just um, I'm choosing the current ratio, the quick ratio, the return on stockholders' equity, and the debt-to-equity ratio, whichever you want to choose based on the book. And then you can explain it and share what targets ratios are. All of this information you're going to submit in a paper to the Dropbox. But then you're also going to take that information and put it in a PowerPoint. Now, I'm expecting this PowerPoint to be 10 to 15 slides, two to three minutes. Do you know that sometimes if, if you're listening to someone, it, it's a little more enjoyable if the PowerPoints keep clicking faster than you're just sitting there falling asleep. So you can share the highlights in a bullet point where it's found and how many stores. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes bullet points, instead of reading a bunch, is a lot easier to keep our attention. So have bullet points. You can have four or five different slides for all your ratios, okay? Two to three minutes. My purpose isn't to stress you out here at all. I'm letting you know, find a company. If you look at the annual report in the 10K, you'll get everything you need there. Okay? You go over to this um, annual report, 
you'll find everything you want to know about the company and about um, what the risks are, what they, I mean, it tells you everything, guys. Um, earnings per share. But you can also find all your ratios in here also. Okay? So the, the key here is to find a company and to allow yourself to gather some information about that company. So you will submit prior to class the paragraph and your PowerPoint, and then for that extra 25 points or 25 percent or 50 points, you'll do a two to three minute presentation in class. Yes. Can't talk that slow. Well, the, the when the class starts booing you, they you'll. Won't. Oh, they won't? Okay, then you can talk as long as you want. We'll just let you stay at the end. Okay. But you don't email me and say, you know, I'm not going to make it to class. Can I do my presentation to you later? No. Okay? I've not been picky about much around here. I've put the, the, video, the lectures online, so there's freedom. But that's one thing. Um, nobody's going uh, <coughs> to... The, the purpose of this is to... Um, be present in class that last day to earn that full credit. Guys, this is an easy 200 points to add to your grade. Okay? Any questions on the project before we move on? Yes? Um, where do we find I Google it. What company are you thinking of doing? I'm thinking Bauer. Bauer, B-A-U-E-R, hockey? Is it a public company? Bauer Hockey Company? Uh, annual report? Annual report here. So I'm wondering if it, um, I wonder if it is Bauer Hockey a public company. Yahoo, going to Yahoo, and then it's a Canadian company, isn't it? Okay, do an American company because that's I know, like Shell Oil is a is a. Um, European company, do something that is within the United States, okay? Just makes it easier. If you choose to do that, that's fine. You can use that annual report, but you're going to have different currencies. You know, I prefer you using a public company, uh, a U.S. company. So, any other questions? Like the 10K I did was like, it was doing really wrong, so I just hyperlinked it. Is that all right? Or that's that fine. Like well, it's too much to just everyone review. It's, it's, there's too much information. But you can link it and then show some of the key factors, such as um, from that 10K, the assets, the liabilities, the stockholders' equity. Okay. Yes? I don't need to see the 10K. I just want you to gain your information from that 10K. Yes? You're going to listen to the lecture because okay. those of you who walked in late, I'm not saying it again, okay? I, I mean, I no, I don't want to hear you. You're going to listen to the lecture. Guys, no offense, but those people who come in on time, it's really rude for me to have to repeat it again. And so you're going to listen to the lecture to get that information. Sorry, okay? Because I've gone through it all. So I ha I'm speaking as right now, 
um, you guys get on the lecture and you hear everything we've talked about for the past 10 minutes as far as doing your report. Any other questions? Okay.